What is going on, kids? Today we're butchering roosters. You're butchering yeah. roosters? You hatched some of these out from little baby eggs, and now you guys are gonna kill them and tear their guts out and throw them in the oven? Mm -hmm. I had all these chickens yeah. that were butchering today. How long did you have to sit on them? I didn't have to sit on them. Oh. All right, let's get that next generation of food, huh? Yeah. Oh man, that's a lot of noise. Are you children okay? Yeah. Is anyone hurt yet? Whoa! Wow, John, settle! Darlin, what do you think? Got done some work pretty quickly here. Yeah. Any other takers? Oh! Oh, yeah. I just enjoy a bit. And then what are we gonna do? Save it. Save it. Butcher chickens. Yes, we got too many what? Roosters. Yeah. How many uh, is like the most eggs you can get a day with a hen? One. 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 How many is the most eggs you get a day with a rooster? Yeah. How many is the most fertilized eggs you get with 30 hens and no roosters? Yeah. Yeah. Zero. So we need at least a couple roosters, but we don't need as many as we got, right? Okay, we can do it up. And well, then what are we going to put them in? Cans. Cans. We're going to can them in some jars, guys. This is venison from last night. And uh, yeah, who's excited? Me. How's that taste bug? Yeah, you think so? You want to get your little knife and your little apron today? Yeah? yeah. Let's do devotions and then we'll head outside and get this party started. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you ready over there? <laughs> yes, no. How's your jerky? Mm, super good. Nice. You like the flavor? Mm -hmm. Excellent. It's a delicious treat for sure. I have a jerky. Who does? There you are. You have a jerky. This is my next batch of jerky I gotta get in the oven before we take care of those chickens. I soaked it in lemon juice and salt overnight. And now I'm gonna add in a liquid smoke, some salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, probably smoked paprika, and one other thing, crushed red pepper. Not sure if I already shared that or not, but that's what I'm gonna do. Darling, that smells so good. And look at how nice you line those up. Well, I had to spread them apart. Wow. Yeah, this will be the third Very batch nice. in two days, which is pretty good. Because what did we do with the last batch, do you know? We ate them all. It's all gone, and that'll give us energy for doing what? Uh, working. Working. Yeah. Now what's our next job? Chickens. Hey, what are we gonna do to our little chickens? Kill them. Oh, doesn't that make you sad and hurt your heart? No. Why not? Because. Where does chicken come from? The chicken food on the table, where does it come from? From chicken animals, right? Yeah. Chicken animals. And do we eat live animals? Yeah. Do you just go pick your chicken up out of the yard and take a bite out of it? No. No, that would be mean. Yeah. We don't, we don't do that. Does it make you sad to see the chickens no. get... No. No? Does it make you sad when we pick a pepper off the plant? No. And it doesn't, it doesn't grow anymore? No. Do you ever get sad? Do you ever get sad? <laughs> Not really. Hey, Tweeter. No, and do you remember when we first moved down and we first got our first chickens and then we're like, oh, what should we do? And we weren't sure how it was going to come the first culling day. Uh-huh. Do you remember what happened? Uh, yes. What happened? One of our children said, hey, do mine first. Do mine first? What's do mine mean? <laughs> Kill mine first. That's how you guys really were? Kill but, my chicken first? That's not to say that we don't have respect for our animals. It's not. We do care for them. I think it was this guy here what? who was like, can we kill my chicken first? Uh, Maybe it was Pinky. It was 
Yes. Yes. Probably. It was, so it what was about his what about you older was. children? What do you think about processing day, butcher day, calling day? How does that make you feel? Um. Well, it's sad they have to die, but I mean. But if we didn't kill them, what would happen to them? They would, they die, would die anyway. anyway. They'd die anyway. So. That's very true. That's and very how much? Point. Yeah. How much work went into those chickens? Mm. I mean, some of these you hatched from eggs, right? Yes, most of them. I think maybe all the roosters that were butchered today I did. Wow. Except See, for like a few. You raised them up from babies, so. and then now. So we get a return on our investment, right? Yeah. How's that feel? It feels good. Yeah. I mean, we'd be wasting meat if um, they just died instead of us butchering them. That's right. So, what do you guys think about calling day though as a family project and uh, working together and getting it done? How long does it take usually? It takes uh, um, maybe like if two we hours. Do it fast and there's not that many. I mean, last time we did it, we had like 30 meat chickens. Yeah, but working as a team, we can do a really good job, right? Yes. Yeah. Do even you get jobs to do? Yeah. You come out and help too? Yeah. Not in that shirt, you're not gonna. Look, here's a chicken. That's a chicken, is that one alive? No. Oh, you took it right out of the egg before it came out alive? No. Nope. Uh, it's a fake one. Our professionals. They are, and actually, uh, recently somebody blessed us with a whole bunch of ground beef. They said they had a culling day coming up. I said, hey, if you do, let us know. We can show up with aprons and knives and help them out and show some gratitude and appreciation for their gift and blessing blessing to us and then by the end of the day we'll not only have this canned venison here but what do we have my lady some canned chicken canned chicken i was hoping if we have room we could put some in the freezer because we want chicken like now sure um we have three roosters that are the bigger ones there's just three that are really fat that we could freeze if we wanted to oh or have one fresh as a whole bird huh uh -huh. Okay, and one cool thing too, we're camping out at uh, an American homestead before, and um, Mr. Zach had given me a can of some of their canned chicken, and it was like three drumsticks in a jar with the bones in, and I hadn't really thought about canning chicken like, you know, that type of chicken, like chicken drumsticks and stuff. A lot of good nutrition that comes out of that and things like that, so we're gonna see kind of how much of these chickens we can fit in cans and then what makes sense to eat fresh too. Maybe we'll save a bunch of drumsticks and have a meal coming up here kind of right away or save a whole chicken. Mama, mama, she does good with the whole chickens, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, I don't have my smokehouse built yet, but I got a friend up the hill with the smoker and uh, when we were doing our meat chickens, we had so many of them. I mean, we tried to raise a hundred of them that I'd give him like three of them to smoke or five of them to smoke and then he'd keep like one out of three for doing the effort or, you know, two out of five. So. Let's get out there and get started and uh, yeah, see how this goes. What is going on here, team? We have the three fat ones and then we're putting our other cages on. Okay, and those are the three that were kind of free ranging themselves? Yeah, yeah yes. the ones that are free ranging themselves are the fattest. So, butt portage, skunk, and uh, one that's not named. I don't know what his name is. Okay, um, I need a couple different things. The stainless steel table over there. I need cleaned off and rinsed off. So somebody go over there, monster truck, carefully tip that over. Red pepper, go get the uh, hose and bring it around to that size. I want you to make sure we got an extension cord plugged in and bring it out to over there. So we're gonna hook up the plucker. And then you um, bring the uh, stand for the pot, rinse out the pot, clean it, and fill it with water. Uh, pot, are we gonna use those cones? Yeah, we can move that over there. Good point. And I'll, once you guys do that, I'll meet you up by the garden and we'll catch the rest of these. Okay. Yes, sir. Alrighty, alrighty. Are you ready, my lady? Rooster pickup. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Bug, you want to be a doorman for us? <laughs> yes. Oh. You can be a doorman. Hey, don't step on that hose. Okay, thank you. So what we're gonna do is pull all the roosters, every last one. Wow, child. That's a good looking big guy right there, but look at that color on that. What a cool. Yeah, we have a little one like 
like that? Oh, I see that. Okay, so we're gonna pull all the roosters. We're gonna do this part a little easy. We're gonna use our building and a pile of feed. We're just gonna put the feed in the building, let them all run in there. We'll follow them in and uh, we don't leave without roosters. You ready? Yeah. Okay, buck at them, tell them. Hey, you other kids go in there and go hide in the corner. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Let them go, let them go. More, 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 more. More, 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 here comes the next wave. Go in, go in, go in. Oh, I think this one looks like a rooster to me. I know you guys know better than me. That's a rooster? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I shut the door. Neat grabbed the other one. Oh man, that's a lot of noise. Are you children okay? Yeah. Is anyone hurt yet? No. Yeah. Whoa! Got them all! You no, you got them all? Yeah. What in the world? Okay. Well, there we go. And she grabbed the one that was out here. You kids, look at this one. Turn around, you little ones. Uh, they went in there, each grabbed two. She grabbed the one that was out. And look at the feathers on that. That is such an incredibly beautiful bird. Oh, can you turn a little bit so it goes in the sun? Wow. Well, we're going to look at everyone we got and we'll select who we want to keep. She's beautiful. Who's that, my lady? You? Um, our duck right here. This one? Is that one of our originals? It's one of our oldest ducks. Is what Red Pepper said, so. But look at how beautiful they are. Anyway, and that turkey's just gorgeous. Yeah, we got one rooster at least in here. Yeah. Kids, let's move here next. We're keeping that one. Look out, Tom. That one we're absolutely keeping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the one that's outside? Yeah, the one that's outside too. Okay, I want to look at all of them though. Okay. Just to make sure we got the right one. So let's get the one outside in. And then we'll grab that guy there. Here's my little bantam. Oh yeah? Is that a rooster? No. Okay. There we go. Hey, make a little wall, nice and gentle. Or if you got the grab, just take the grab. But I'd rather have it go in than right. get out. Go around. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, he's in. Wow, that's a nice looking bird too. He's little, but I like him. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I heard, but I want to look at all of them and make sure we're making the best choices. That one's, um... Okay. The olive and green The big one. Oh, yeah? Really? Wow. Wow, that guy's got some colors. Look at that thing. That's one thing that blows me away and amazes me. Uh, it's just the coloration on some of these creatures. Look at that guy. That's Frank. Wow, this is Frank's Red Hot? Yep. So he made it through the last calling, right? Yes, sir. All right, he'll probably make it through this one too. He, yeah, he, he was looks a red baby hot. last time. Okay. <laughs> and so is this one. This one's so all of it. Let's clear the first pen and then we should have everyone. Look at that. What kind of comb is this? Do you know what that's called? I forget. It's a special kind of comb. Look at that though. And this one must have genetics from Bobblehead? Mm hmm. Ah, so you got some generations removed from there. Cool. Going, Frank. Oh, you're putting them in a separate cage? Yep. <laughs> they want to keep those ones. <laughs> we'll see how we do. It's a little chili pepper. He wants oh, to you like ducks, buddy boy? Nice. Nice, buddy. Toca suave. Look at you, buddy. No, this one is um, Daisy. One Daisy. So that's one of the original ducks we got from some neighbors when we first got started. Yeah, mm -hmm. this that's is the first one we got. Like children's memory is sometimes better than ours because I don't always pay attention to details. That's her baby because she, she's right there. Oh, oh. it's her granddaughter. Oh. Is that actually her? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's right there. <laughs> so this is Sprinkle? Her granddaughter. Yeah, this okay. is her granddaughter. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You got a couple more? Yeah. That's Pete. Nice. That one's right there if you want to catch him. Dude, we got some stuff. That guy got some frostbite or what did he get? Yeah, frostbite. Was that last year? Yes, sir. Okay, he's been around a bit then. He's got, look at his comb. 
Just a low profile. Did some of it get lost in the frostbite? Yep, yes, sir. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, you gotta watch out. But he's Sometimes if you got these nice big combs like that, yeah, like this, they get frostbite to come off. Oh, is that? Wow. That's bang there? Whoa, whoa, bang! He's a beautiful bird. I would like to have just some barred stuff going on next year. Yeah. Before we split our own little flock of them. Look at his neck. Bro, you are so He's cool not looking. Full barred rocks, though. Look at you, man. This awesome. How many are left in here? One right there. No, nope, one right there. Oh, we're butchering that one way back there. That nice looking barred rock. Okay, let's go see. That's Look at how many hens are left, even with all these roosters getting out of here. He's back there. Wow. What a mixed multitude. We can't catch the bantam rooster because he's out there. He's just a black little bantam. Well, there's somebody in here, right? I don't know. can tell those are a couple from, yeah, that's a rooster. A couple of these ones are from Bobblehead Homestead or some generations after. Oh yeah, it's in the corner. And yeah, I see that little black one outside. Yeah, We'll find them. Wow, guys. This is one thing I love about homesteading too, is just the variety. I mean, chickens, whoa. Chickens is chickens, but look at that. Those special feathers in there? Yep. That's crazy. Look at that. I see, I know some that look exactly like this. But he's got all these, wow. Bang. What a creature. Cool, cool, cool. Well, you beautiful guys. It looks like it's calling day. Oh, man. There's so many different combs in these, too. Just, wow, some of them are amazing. All right, let's get them over there and get them situated. Sort them out. Is that your favorite rooster? Is that the one you want to keep? Is that why you're holding it and hugging it? Um, this one is our one of our favorite roosters. He's mom's favorite too. Mom's favorite. What'd you name him, Mama? Sweetness, because he's so, really sweet. We get to see if he tastes like sweetness. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, we gotta try. Keep him. We gotta taste him and try. He takes care of our meat chickens, Pa. And the little baby chicks. Oh, really? That was that guy? That was that guy. He just has his feet that got a little bit hurt, but they're healed now and then his comb, so he looks a little bit old, but he hatched only last year. Wow. So oh, okay. You may receive a full pardon, my friend. Are any of these going to be keepers? I think these two will. That's, and then Frank and the one Bugger has. What about that one? Uh, no, could we have another bar drop? Well, if you want to, we can. I want to have one of those. Is the other one better? Okay. Well, put those in a separate one then. And put those in separate ones for right now. Those two are colors. Yes, sir. I'll take their heads off right away. And then hang on to that for a minute. Give me those to take their heads off. And then we'll get bang and we'll compare. You're saying that there's a better rooster to keep than this one. Which is going to be this guy, huh? Yes, sir. Why is that one better? Uh, he's not one of my hen's babies. Where'd this one come from? He came from uh, some other chickens we got. Some other chickens we got? That Look one that. Rocks. He's got kind of the double, well, interesting comb. Is that one barred rock or barred rock-ish? Yes, sir. What's this one? Same as him. Wow, I like the feathers on this guy probably other better. Than that, he but if you're saying he's better unrelated and uh, the rooster, then he's the keeper for the barred rock-ish ones. And in the spring, we'll separate him out with his ladies and we'll we'll let them run their own game so they're hatching their own next generation yes. wow look at that big beautiful guy I know. and who's this one uh this is pete he's the 
the um, jumping drones with my son, and he gets his nice long spurs. Oh, he does have nice long spurs. He's running. Is, you want to keep him? Yes. We got to get rid of one of the other ones then. What do you mean? Uh, well, how many do we got? I'm only I looking have... to keep like four roosters, and you got the one running around. Those one, the bantams ones you can't count. breed though. They, they can't count the other ones, the bigger ones, because they weren't, weren't aren't gonna be breeding our hens that are big ones. Okay, so do we need to keep him? Who keeps? The bantam one. Yes, yeah. Who's that guy there? This is um skunk. Skunk. Who's that one? Who's that one? He doesn't have a name. Oh wow, I really like the look of that face. I like that guy. Oh, I mean, his name's Fuzzball. Fuzzball. Look at his eye, too. That guy's intense. And it's times like this I wish, you know, I wish I could keep them all just because of how cool they look. I love those guys. And that guy, I love those fire. Do we have anything that looks like that that we're saving? Yeah. The firecracker guy? What's his name? Frank's Red Hot? Well, we have Frank's Red Hot, yeah. And we have Is little. Frank's Red Hot really better than this guy? Yeah. I want to see him compared. This guy just doesn't breed our hens, he just gets out. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have okay. his wings and stuff. Then he's done. Yeah. So looking at birds like this too just makes it hard for me, even with the color. I mean, look at this guy. The way that comes across there, look at those beautiful tail feathers. Imagine if the wings weren't trimmed and they weren't in the nice long feathers too. This is a beautiful bird. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna get less meat off of these than we would off a meat chicken. But meat chickens we do, they're just all white. You don't get variety and color like that. So by hatching these out, we get the next generation of hens. And then we do get all these to use as food too. And we get to see some really cool varieties and variations along the way, which I really appreciate. Boy, this one here is John the Baptist. Wow, John, settle! He made it through the last cull. He's not gonna make it through this one. But I love the looks of these birds. Do we have any like this that we're saving? That are this color? Not really, huh? Okay, cool. Crow to live another day. Who's that one? This dragon. is one of the ones we hatched out. That you know, does it have a name? Yeah, dragon. That's dragon? Wow, that's a beautiful one. Who's that? Uh, it does not have a name. I like that chest. Did you see those feathers there? Wow. Who's this guy? That's a uh, similar one. Do you know? This one is, uh, we call it a mean, mean, mean? but because we <laughs> pick oh, up the other ones. And what's that one, anyway? Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy? Hey, pop that feather up. Look at that. No, that one's Charles. Yeah, Charles. Charles. Oh, man. That is so cool. And they're not making the cut. <laughs> Those are beautiful. I like the uh, neck on the one on the right better. But the one on the left has got some beautiful feathers. That's crazy, and I like the looks of those. That's not the one we're saving? Nope. We got a better one than that? Yes. Pinky. He gets out, and he doesn't stay in either. Yep. Does he breed? He He's... breeds only the ones that are out. Oh, wow. Yeah, we gotta start keeping him in, because I want my winter garden. All my blue curly scotch kale got pecked to nothing. Now, we gotta get a count on hens to see if Humble Valley Homestead can have some. So that'll be good. Wow. These ones are all going bye bye. Yep. That's a lot so far. Yeah, can you this one? what do you think? I think you guys got done some work pretty quickly here. Yeah, that's the uh, 15 I think we're going to let go of. That's keeping maybe six or seven total still. Why are we keeping that many? Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to take that up with the children. I was trying to have it be less. Caroline. Yeah, we don't need those after. All right, well, they're going to have the final inspection round over here, so come help me choose. Bring over whatever's supposedly a keeper. We don't need extra Let's extra. figure it out. <laughs> so there's still seven right here, my lady. You said that's too many? That is, yeah. We don't need that, guys. Um, What's the difference between these two you're holding on to? Like nothing. That's why I told them they should butcher that one. And why are you keeping the littler one? This one? No, that one. Oh, they're both exactly the same? Yeah. Okay, one of them's gone. Do we want to keep the big comb or keep the little comb? Big comb, I think. Keep How the big... How many roosters do we have? These. These ones right here. The rest of them are out of the line. And the black one is going to be... Well, this... So, that one's out then. And, whoa, what's up, buddy?
Don't let them go. The black guy's out. What? We don't need him. He was good for taking care of chicks and stuff. Hopefully we got good mamas. Yeah. And what's the difference between this guy and the Jehoshaphat one? Or is this one Jehoshaphat's son? That's Jehoshaphat's son, and this one's the one I got paid for. Okay, I think that one we're probably going to have go. We'll keep this guy, because you wanted Jehoshaphat's son. It's one or the other. That one. This one a keeper or that a goer? One. That one. That one. This one? Nice, nice roosters. Good looking. I don't know. Nice roosters. I'd say keep that one. And you want to keep that little pretty one. I want a barred rock looking one. Alright. Um, I don't know. Do we need both of these that look like this? I don't think so. Keep That one has a nicer comb. Well, yeah. what kind of rooster is that one you got there? The gold? Um, some buff mix. <coughs> and what's that to... one? They're both buff mix. No, that one has buff and um, bolted brown. And this one I have no clue other than buff in it. And here's the thing, sometimes some people do get attached to some of these. Um, I would really like to have four big roosters and have that be it, but I'm trying to get down to like a we single just pen. These four right here, that one, that one, this one, that one. The, the black, four big ones. black one's not in. He's already been through frostbite and other stuff. I don't want him going through another winter just in case it doesn't go well for him. We'll let him have his happy summer and have a, a good end to his life here. What do you think, little buddy? You want to pick this one? Hey. Hey, Chili. Chili. Do you like that one? Oh. He'll try to grab it off your plate, too, if we butcher him up. <laughs> so, Pinky has a couple bantam hens and bantam roosters that are smaller. We're only going to keep one of them, which of course is a hard decision. This one's olive egger, and it's absolutely beautiful, but she likes the full black little one better that's still running around. So I guess we're going to keep that one and let this one go, and that's when things get hard, making these tough decisions. We also have two that are partial buffs. Um, one of them, Red Pepper got his payment for taking care of some stuff from somebody, and she got a number of them for payment, and it's the only one left. And the other one is the son, of uh, one we used to have called Jumpin' Jehoshaphat. So which one are we doing with that? Hey, Red, that's your decision. Are we gonna keep yours or keep Jumpin' Jehoshaphat, son? I'd recommend to don't name them. Sometimes it looks easy uh, in the intro, but it gets tougher the more you do it. That's why it's best sometimes to stick with one breed too that you really like that has good genetics and then uh, just pick the best rooster or two that all look the same. Right now I'm looking at the two, you know, partial buff Orpingtons and I uh, think we could just keep both of those and get rid of the Frank's Red Hot guy. Uh, he's beautiful, but he's the only olive egg rooster we got, so we're trying to figure that out too. So right now the children are heading through and they're picking out some of the feathers. There's a lot of amazing colors and patterns. And uh, wow, nice long ones. And you got all sorts of stuff in your bags? Yep. Good. So I don't know if we'll do arts, crafts, just make stuff. That's a super cool, dude. Yeah. That's amazing. And maybe we could make some what with them? Uh, I was thinking flies. fishing bait. Yeah, flies for fishing, right? That could be pretty awesome. We'll see. And we'll stop back later. Uh, spent a lot of time videoing here. I'm gonna get these guys through. We're gonna get them taken care of. We'll show you what that looks like when we're done.